Oh, here we are. We're back again. It's a lovely, lovely day here where I'm calling in from. Lisa, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Frank. Good to see you. Good. Good to see you too. I don't know about you, but I have my little phone ready. I'm getting ready because we have a lot of people that we're, we're hoping to join us today. And I want to be able to I get as many of your questions as possible for all of you guys who are joining us. So I do that via my phone and I try to wait for messages to come in. So it's always a, a great way for me to do that. Can you hear that? See? Oh, all right. So we're good. All right. So hello, everybody. Hello, Joy. Thank you for watching. Um, so you guys, really excited today. We have a great, great presentation for you today. Today, we're going to be showing you some new top of head pieces that we are introducing part of our transformations collection. And we have uh, three synthetic ones we're going to be showing you today and one human hair one. And I am so lucky to have this darling girl, Lisa Rentis, joining me today. And uh, I'm going to fill you in on a little story about Lisa Rentis because she and I have a little bit of a history together, don't we, Lisa? Yeah. <laughs> we do. I'm so let me say hi to a few people before I get on to that. I want to say hi to Sissy Williams, who's watching, Mary Carmen, who's watching, Nancy, Pamela, how are you? We have Mary, we have Norma Dolan. Hi, Norma. And we have, oh, we have Denise Stallings. Hi, Denise. So you guys, thank you for joining us today. I hope you're excited as I am to present this collection to you. Um, so I'm with my, my darling companion, Lisa Rentis. So what you may or may not know about Lisa Rentis is that she is one of our educators. And if you've ever taken a Hair You Wear on the Road class, it's very likely that Lisa was probably there and probably educating. But not only is Lisa an educator for us, Lisa, how long have I known you? I think, <laughs> how old were you when we first met? I was 14. She was so, 14, I was 15. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. It's been over 20 Work with years, me. leave it there. It's been over 20 years that I have known Lisa, not only as a friend, but also as a, a professional hairdresser and someone who really puts her all her effort and her gusto into everything she does. She is a fabulous colorist, a fabulous cutter. She is outstanding with updos and hair designs. And when I first started working for Hair You Wear, I was so happy to obviously, Lisa, you know, not only let you know the news, but also to have you join our team and ask you to join our team. And she did. And I'm yeah. so happy. Um, I mean, God, girl, you know me probably just about as good as anybody at this point. Probably, yeah, definitely. Probably. She knows where all the where all the skeletons are hidden, don't you? Uh, <laughs> and, and where I've gotten buried. Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing, girl. I need someone like you in my corner. So Lisa and I have um, have worked together. Not only is she an educator, but Lisa works with me on a lot of the photo shoots that we do. The hairdo photo shoots. The, she comes with me to LA to assist with the Raquel Welch photo shoot and oh. work on our models and everything. So it's so nice to have somebody that I know I can trust and somebody that I can rely on and also somebody whose skill is uh, just on par with any professional hairdresser you've ever worked with. So thank you, Lisa, for joining us today. Frank, that was very sweet of you to say. <laughs> well, it's the truth, it's the truth, it's the truth. <laughs> so anyway, Lisa is also embarking on a new, new endeavor. She has recently opened up her own salon. After working, how long did you and I work together? When I had my salon in his build, did we work together for like? It was about 12 like, years. About 12 years we worked together. Like she was just always behind me, always on my peripheral. And now I'm so happy to announce that you have your own place. And so Lisa's new salon that she's opening up, it's all brand new, is yep. called Styles Hair and Wig Studio. And it's in LaGrange, Illinois. And you can find her on Facebook and you can find her on Instagram at Styles Hair and Wig Studio. I know, Lisa, you were saying your website is uh, in the works. It's Perfect. almost up. Just open. And so. Getting the doors open was the first priority. So the, the website's coming. It should be done good. probably. So yeah. Very good. And that, that website is going to be styleshwstudio.com. So congratulations, my dear. I'm really happy for you. I'm really excited. Thank you so much. So when I come to Chicago, you're going to cut my hair for me? Absolutely. <laughs> <You know. laughs> excellent, excellent. So OK, real quick, we're going to get started with our transformations. Another quick hi to Stephen Barons. Hello to Janet. Hello, Janet. How are you? And we also have Kathy Woodhill watching today. And um, well, let's get going, kids. Let's get going. So first thing we're going to talk about 
is our top billing. This is, uh, top billing has been out. This is our regular top billing in a 12 inch length. And one of the things we love about top billing is it's easy construction, it's wearability, and it's natural look. And one of the things I can probably say now is, Lisa, what are you wearing? I'm wearing top billing in 12. <laughs> It Which gives color me is that? A lot of volume on top. My hair is kind of flat on top, so this gives me a little bit of volume, some bang. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I love, I love the lace front. You, and it's it's the heat friendly fiber. One of the things you need to know about what we're going to be showing today is it's all available in heat friendly fiber, with the exception of our human hair piece, which we'll be showing. So top billing comes with a little bit of a fringe, right? And then you have these longer lengths, which blend in. So anyone who's got shoulder length hair or a little bit longer, the layering in here really blends well. Lisa, can you turn to the side and show us how that kind of blends into your own hair? Yeah, very cool. It just kind of has that shattered ends into the back. So that blends really nicely into just about any kind of longer length hairstyle. Um, Lisa, can you take that off for us and show us? I mean, it's always, it's always a pleasure to see someone wearing it and then taking it off so you can really see what the piece does. Now, of course you have hair and you add it for volume most of the time, but it's a great piece for someone who also is thinning. I mean, look no, at that. It's all flat up here now. <laughs> well, you know what it is too, your hair, right? Your natural hair is very weighty, right? So what happens is it kind of pulls down and so you don't get that volume on the top. So adding a top piece is a great way to, you know, to add some volume, you know? Um, so for all of you who are joining us, we are going to be talking about top of heads today. Remember, please ask us many questions, ask us whatever you want to know. And just by asking us a question, you'll be entered to win one of these wonderful pieces of your choice in style and your choice in color. So please ask the questions and we'll announce the winner at the end. So I uh, see Kathleen asks, what do you do if you have curly hair but thin? Well, Kathleen, as I was saying before, these are heat friendly fibers and you can curl them and set them, okay? So you can curl them to match the texture of your hair. You may wanna opt for the human hair if you really wanna get a superior blend. Uh, we'll be showing that later. And the human hair, you can curl with any kind of curling iron you like. As I was saying, these are heat friendly fibers. Top building 12 inch comes in a styleable fiber that you can use a curling iron or flat iron on, on it up to 350 degrees, okay? So just keep that in mind. You can flatten this if you have your hair really straight or you can curl it. Also, you guys, I wanna let you know, look what I have her on today. I don't have my usual like, you know, gorgeous mannequin here. I have her on a wig block. And the reason why I have her on a wig block is because I'm a big believer that these are all gonna be integration pieces that we're showing today. And so one of the things with integration pieces is they need to be really styled and worked. And I can't find a better way than to do it on a wig block where you can secure the piece, you can section it if you need to. And I think anyone who is a professional, those of you out there who have salons or those of you who are at home watching and you're thinking about getting a top piece and you're not a professional, I definitely think it's worth to invest in a wig block because it's the best way to get the ultimate styling flexibility and freedom out of any piece. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, top billing 12 inch. So let's talk about the construction because Kathy Whittle asks, uh, is it possible to wear if the hair is thin on top? Yes, but you have to have some hair to attach it to and you'll see via this. And also Nancy asks, how is it attached? Nancy, it is attached with pressure sensitive clips and I will show you. So this is the base of top billing. So one of the things you could see about it is it's completely hand tied, okay? And this top billing version also has a lace front. So if you are someone who has no hair in the front or it's very fine in the front, you can wear the lace and stretch it over so that you can also wear it back and it looks like it's growing out of your head. Now, Lisa, you've got it stretched over, right? Yeah. And you've got it right down to where your natural hairline is. Yeah, and if, you, if Lisa leans forward, you can totally see how it looks so natural coming out of the head. So what you wanna do is you wanna use these pressure sensitive clips and they're all throughout the perimeter of the piece to attach, okay? So if you have perimeter hair, you can attach. You don't have to worry about whether you're fine or thinning in through the top. So you have attachment options with this. And it also has some wefting, if you can see. The wefting builds up some fullness here at the temple area. So you get a little bit of that width, you get a little bit of that volume. Again, it can be flat ironed easily if you like. Now, I am showing top billing in the RL 1923 which is our lightest blonde color.
color that is multidimensional. Lisa, which color are you wearing? I have, let's see, the Pale Golden Honey. It's 1688. Okay, so you got the 1688. I have the 1923. And you can see this one does not have the shadow base in it, but we also have it available with a shadow base. Um, I see that Sherry asks, um, oh, do we have one for short hair? Yes, Sherry, we have one coming up. And then uh, Kellyanne asks, do you need to pull out your own bio hair in front? Okay, so Kellyanne, because you're saying you have some frontal hair loss, do you need to pull your own bio hair out in front? No, because you have the lace front with this piece. So this piece is going to be the one, the top only 12 inch is going to be the one that gives you the most styling flexibility. It's going to be the lightest because again, it is completely hand top tied up into the top. And then again, you have a little bit of the wefting for security. Now I do have women who say, you know, I've been wearing a top of head piece for a while and I'm noticing that, you know, because I wear it all the time that I'm getting, you know, some breakage in other areas. You can ladies, take these clips off and you can move them a little bit. So restitch them somewhere else in the piece so you're not constantly putting that same pressure. So don't think you have to run out all the time and, uh, and, and buy a new piece or a different size. You can still work with this size. You can just change where the position of the clips are. So this is a really great piece. I love it for its flexibility. Again, I like that it's a heat friendly fiber that you can style and you're gonna get that really nice natural look. It's low density in through the top. You can just see how light that is. So it looks very natural. It looks very believable, just like your own hair. Now, Lisa, you have sold quite a few of these, I think, and you have, have put these on a lot of clients. And how how, how is your reaction and, and what have people been saying about it? Oh, everybody loves this one. Uh, they love how lightweight it is. Uh, they love that they could style it into their hair. Uh, there's a lot of good things about it. The lace front, so they can they don't have to worry if the wind blows. It looks too, um, you know, not fit, not real. So yeah, yeah. And so you know, we we bang. you can kind of swoop it if you don't want the whole bang for some people. Exactly, exactly. I mean, so Donna says, can you use hairspray, etc. On it doesn't have to be a special product. Absolutely. I use hairspray on them all the time. I'm they sure love. you do too in the salon, right, Lisa? Yep. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. spray on the phone right now. <laughs> Yeah, you know, just be aware that if you are using hairspray on any wig or any, you know, any synthetic fiber, you're going to have to shampoo it eventually and kind of start from scratch again. And I do recommend our cleanse shampoo uh, that Hair You Wear makes because it is specially formulated for these fibers and it's not so harsh or too uh, greasy because, you know, don't forget a lot of emollients are put into professional salon products because regular hair gets dried and damaged and there's a cuticle. Well, with synthetic hair, you don't have to worry about that. So you do need special shampoos to keep it optimal. You could use a salon quality shampoo. If you cannot get the Hair You Wear Cleanse, it's fine. Just try to use a little bit less of it. Um, I like to use the Restore Spray. And the Restore Spray is great for when you first get the product, just to mist through and comb through it to get that kind of you know, set that it comes out of the box with, kind of brush that out a little bit. So that works really good. People, uh, Lizette, you're asking about teasing the top of the top billing. Can you tease the top of the top building? Yes, but I mean, I'm going to say you got to be really gentle with it and you have to do it very methodically because don't forget all this hair is hand tied. It's not secured like it is inside, you know, the actual cuticle of a real head, you know? And so what you want to do is gently bath comb it, use a little like product to spray it and try not to keep doing it over and over every day because you will release the knotting and then you'll have some like extra hair loss in here. So you can do it. Be gentle and try to maintain it for as long as you can before uh, doing that all over again. Because I know we do tease them on occasion or it'll back home a little bit just to create something for a photo shoot. Um, but I also like to use a vented brush on these. So um, just use your vented brush. Um, I think um, Harry Wear has the great brush, the white paddle brush. And Lisa's got it. Isn't that a great brush, Lisa? Brush. I can't, I have to have this for all my wigs and it just, I know. it doesn't like snarl the hair. I don't know. It's a perfect, uh, perfect little brush fits in your purse. Yeah. And you know what? I love the little plastic bits on the end. So it's a wire yeah. brush with plastic uh, knobs on the end. So it's not going to damage. It's not going to braid the wig. And of course, like we were talking about the cleanse shampoo, the brush is also specially formulated to be used with wigs and wig products and synthetic hair. Okay. So, um, Sissy, you're asking me what size the base is. I'm not sure exactly. I want to say it's, I think it's about six and a half inches by 
by eight. It's approximately that. But all that information can be found on our Hair You Wear website at www.hairyouwear.com. We have the pieces there, and then there's a lot of information regarding the pieces uh, with that as well. So you'll have all that information at your fingertips. So one of the things that we, we want to discuss a little bit about hair loss and about top of head is the stages of hair loss, because where someone is in hair loss in their, in their own particular situation is very important with the top of the type of top of head you're going to recommend for them, right? So we have a little diagram of the stages of hair loss, and this is available to online. There will be a link posted later where you can access all this information. And when you're looking at a client and you're assessing their, their hair loss, in order to get the right piece for them, one of the things you're going to have to look at is where is it, where is it happening? Is it receding at the temples? Are they at a stage one where just in the center part, it, they're starting to lose some hair and it's starting to get a little thin and perhaps a little transparent? Or are they more progressive? Are they like in a stage five where there is a larger area where there's a lot of thinning? You know, you'll find people in this, in this area of thinning, probably they're using powders and different kinds of things to like kind of cover that up. So the reason why it's important to understand the stage of hair loss they're in is because that is going to determine the size of the topper that you're going to use, right? So the less the hair loss and the more localized, the thinner and smaller base you could use, the wider and the more profuse the hair loss into the top, then the wider base you're gonna to wanna to look at. So in order to answer your all's question, um, top billing would be recommended for someone in the more mid stages of hair loss, because as you can see, this piece covers a lot of area. Now, that's not to say you can't wear it. I mean, because Lisa, right, you wear this and you don't have any hair loss. Um, yeah, I have hair loss, but it gives me the width because I'm flat on top. So that's why right. I like it. it has some width in here. Exactly. So it all kind of depends what kind of look you want to achieve at the end. But as I said before, if you just have a small area hair loss, you can go with a smaller piece. Because some women, when they're first getting into a topper, it's a whole new experience. And it's very difficult for them to kind of wrap their head around and also sometimes it's very difficult to get you know, get used to having the lace in the front and knowing how to position that so we also have some other ones without lace and we're going to be talking about that in just a moment because brenda asks real quick can these be colored lisa you talk about this all the time in your yeah. class yes <laughs> so, so why don't you answer that so it is a synthetic fiber uh it cannot be colored it won't take hair color like human hair would but you can sometimes use a little bit of eyeshadow if you want to maybe uh, shadow the roots a little bit. We sometimes use permanent marker. You can get a shade that's a hair color shade and you can take that permanent marker and maybe draw in some low lights. Things like that might, might help alter the shade a little bit for you. But uh, regular hair color, no, won't take it too yeah. long. No. And you know what? I think that's really great because all that, you guys talk about all that in the hair wear on the road classes, which unfortunately because of the situation room right now, we're not having classes like we used to. But for those of you who are interested and you wanna learn more about these kind of coloring techniques and ways you can use colored marker dyes to create low lights, highlights, like Lisa's talking about a root area, all that we cover in the classes. And Lisa, you are one of our expert teachers in that area, aren't you? I'm glad for that and we teach you how to do it. We, we give you a wig and you get in there and color it and, and alter the color how you'd like. And it's a good way to practice and learn how to yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So Aura asks, can you use a blow dryer on these? Yes, Aura, you probably just joined us. Yes, you can use a blow dryer on these, medium heat. You can also use a curling iron and flat iron up to 350 degrees. That's my recommendation. Um, you can let it dry naturally. It will dry with this kind of natural texture. This has, I've done nothing to this top building piece and you can see it just has a natural wave and a natural texture to it. Lisa, did you uh, blow dry yours or do anything to yours? Oh, I did. And I actually curled it a little bit, but one thing curled to know, a little bit. you do curl it. I, I like to keep mine at 300. We do say you can go up to 350, but I feel that it, it prolongs the life of the product if I use a lower heat. So I use 300. Uh, and the, the real key to it is curl clip cool. So I always tell people yes. these, if I take a curling iron and curl this and let it fall straight, it will just fall straight. But if exactly. I take an iron, warm it up at 300 degrees, clip it and let it cool in that curled state, it will stay wavy. So I put, I put a little wave in it so that it blended in with my waved hair. Right, so, and that's the whole idea. And that's why we're talking about having like a wig block because you can't style it a little right. bit better. I don't recommend styling synthetic fiber on someone's head 
you know, it's just, you have to let it cool. You have to let it, you know, do its thing. And I think always on a wig block is best. So we're gonna go on to our next piece in just a moment, but I wanna say hello to Pam. Hi, Pam Greco. Hi, Mary Carmen. And hello, Kathy. And I just wanted to say thank you all for joining us again. So our next piece is something that we've designed based on top billing. So top billing, as I said, has been in our collection for a long time, but we've gotten some feedback from people who said, you know, I love top billing. Um, I'm not really sure that for me, I like working with the lace front. I don't really, I don't really need a lace front. Sometimes I find it difficult for me to work with. What do you, what, what, what else do you guys have? And to be honest with you, we really didn't have anything that fit that bill, no pun intended. So <laughs> we've, <laughs> so we have created a top billing and also a longer version because people were saying the 12 inch is good, but I have longer hair. Do you guys have anything a little bit longer? So we created a top billing. 18 inch. Now keep in mind that the top billing 18 inch is going to have a little different construction than the top billing 12 inch, right? This is our original, but this is our top billing version for those of you who did not want a lace front, okay? So I'll talk about the construction a little bit before we actually put it on, but the construction of the top billing 18 inch has a PU front. So this is really nice for those of you who want to kick out a little bit of your own hair from underneath, right? Because you don't have to worry about the lace and the lace lifting with your own hair. It also has the pressure sensitive clips for attachment around it, the wefting, just like the original top billing, and of course, completely hand tied. So one of the things you're going to notice that this is different about the top billing 12 inch is that you have this PU front. For someone who is completely uh, void of hair into the front. This can also be taped down. So you have that option as well. Okay. And then I should also mention that you have the length. This is an 18 inch length. So if you like this construction, but you want a shorter length, you can always trim it. Okay. Again, this is made in our heat friendly fiber, the true to life fiber. And uh, one of the things again with that is you can style it, curl it, flat iron it, blow dry it, right? So, so I, I am showing this today in RL3027. What do you got, Lise? I curled mine a little bit on the bottom just to show I just gave it a little kick with a, a like one and a half inch iron. Right, and I know, look, Lisa, you wear your hair so many different ways all the time. Sometimes you have it flat and straight, and sometimes you have it all <laughs> waved up. And, you know, but that's the beauty of, of the piece is you can curl it and restyle it to accommodate however you're wearing your hair. So I know today, Lisa, you had to do your hair like, to accommodate four different styles. So <laughs> we're putting you on the spot today, but I think even just a little wave, all of these will work, you know? Um, oh, so what I is Chris? Yeah. A little, like in the bang for myself. And when I do sell pieces to clients, I do customize them sometimes. Sure, sure. The toppers, they are meant to be customized into the client's hair. You know, they're not just one stop shop. You do have to, you know, sometimes bring it into your stylist and you have the, the bangs blended a little bit more. In this case, Absolutely. I thin them out so they weren't too heavy on my face, you know, similar things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, you know, it's really important for people to think about is that, you know, you get it one way, right? We get it to you as much as it's wearable as possible. But with anything where you're doing an integration or you're trying to work it into your own hair, it's so important that, you know, for those of you who are watching that are just interested in top of heads, that you go to a professional wig salon or wig studio and have these, tried on and, and put them on and work with someone who is a professional because they will do what they need to do and what their expertise is to make sure that it complements your face, to make sure that it works with your natural hair. You know, we give you an ample amount of hair, but sometimes this needs to be thinned out a little bit to blend. So it's really important that, you know, this is one of those things that having it service <clears throat> or being with people who can service it for you is really important because it's got to look right on your head. It's got to feel like your hair. It's got to work with your hair. And, you know, while you can order it online, unless you take it to a professional to really have it done properly, I think you're probably not going to get the full benefit out of it. So top billing, we have the one length, okay, which is the 18 inch length. It has the fringe like the original top billing, okay. But one of the things you're going to notice about it, okay, is because we have a PU front in here, you are gonna lose some of that flexibility and styling option with the fringe, right? It's only natural because this is hand tied. So it gives you freedom of form, freedom of movement where this has the PU front. So it's gonna be a little bit more restrictive. However, however, 
keep in mind that you see where this point is, where you have the fringe and then you have the length. All of this can be razor cut and sculpted to blend into your own hair, okay? So that's why I'm saying it's important to sit with a professional and to really understand how you're gonna wear your hair and then have this work with it. Same thing on this side, the fringe stops right about here and it's like right at the temple area. You can see where Lisa's got it, but then you have this length here. The length is here. You could wear it very blunt like that. You know, that's kind of very uh, chic, but you can also razor cut and texturize this. Very important to keep that in mind. Again, the PU front on this, very straight, right? You can glue this down, but you can also pull out a little bit of your own bio hair if you have some, even if it's just a little bit, can give it a very natural look. And then you can wear it off your face if you just set it back a little bit. Lisa, tell me how you're working through that one right now. I'm just Ellen, kind of, what, what's that? I was saying, Ellen, what color you're wearing too? Oh, this color is the, uh, the pale golden honey again. Okay. So same color as the last color. Yeah. And I see you, we try to leave this as much as original as possible the way it comes. So you do have the longer length into the front. So those of you who are watching, you can see where the bangs go to the temples and then it drops into the longer length. Again, Bang. you can wear it that way or you can customize it. Now, Lisa, you are, tell, I mean, how often do you customize these pieces? Like, <laughs> I've never sold a hair, a wig or a hair piece or a topper that I don't customize for somebody. Yeah single time something needs to be tweaked or altered or to fit their face, you know, to highlight their cheekbones, different things, you know, there's always yes, something. Exactly. This exactly. one I on the bottom and uh, trim the bangs up a little. Right. And you're in a, you know what, you're in a great situation too, because not only do you retail wigs and hair pieces, you also are a stylist. You also color and cut hair. So, I mean, if there's any color tweaking that needs to be done, you can always color the client's hair to match the piece better rather than trying to find the exact color piece that matches their hair, you know? And I do and that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you do. This pro does it all. <laughs> a lot of wig studios, that's a, that's a challenge because if they don't do hair, they have to sometimes match the client's hair and that can be a little tricky, but I would always recommend even to the customer who comes in and maybe you have a color that's close but not quite close enough that they bring the hair piece to their, their stylist and have them color match it. It's much easier to match your hair to the hair piece than it is to try to find an exact match with the hair piece because we can't make every variation of color and people all over the country, all over the world, you know, color varies, you know. So very important there as well. So this is the top billing 18 inch and uh, Lisa, your hair, your natural hair is pretty long and you can see the 18 inch kind of blends right into it, huh? Yeah, it blends right in. I just uh, put a little curl in the bottom of it and it blends in. Yeah. It's very chic and sophisticated on you, dear, I have to say. Bang out, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> I like you with the bang, but you probably, I know you, like the times we've, we've done that, you always go back to all one length, so. <laughs> I like to have the bang option when I put in a piece or a wig, then I wear my bangs. Otherwise, exactly. You know, I like to be able to pull it up in a bun and not deal with it if I have to. But. Yeah. And, you know, when we're talking about like, you know, top of heads, right. And we're talking about, you know, integrating into your own hair. I think it's, it is also not only is it for hair loss, but it also offers another styling option, right? Because girls, you've all been there. I've had, how many times have we had in our, in our chair, right? We're like, I want bangs. And then you do the bangs and they're like, they're liking it. And then the next time you see them, like, I think I'm growing out my bangs. You know, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, these are off, also offer a great way to, if you have hair color that's grown out, a lot of people aren't able to get to the salons right now, right? Uh, or at least not regularly. Uh, this is a great way to cover up, well, right, Lise? Yeah, people weren't able to, salons were not open. So this would be a great go-to. <laughs> Yeah, it's always good to have it, right? Or you're you're just traveling and uh, when, when we're able to travel and you couldn't get into a salon, this is always great because so your hair always looks fresh and colored. Um, Lisa though, I will say you, you obviously work with a lot of uh, clients and a lot of uh, people who are coming to you because of hair loss or are coming to you because of treatment related hair loss, not only alopecia and thinning, but also because of, of cancer treatment. They have to be very careful. What are you doing right now in your salon to make sure that the people that come in there are, you know, are feeling comfortable. Comfortable, I mean, as far as being safe with like the virus going on and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, so I have a mask policy. Uh, I know some salons are getting away with some of that now, but I think I'm gonna keep it forever, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> 
getting sick from my clients, you know? Um, so everybody has a mask on. I have enough space where I can have about four people in the salon at once. But if I do have a client who is coming in a, for a wig consultation, my salon is empty for them in private. Um, right. they, they're chemotherapy, therapy. Everything is sanitized and cleaned. Uh, when I do the trials, I try to keep it limited to three to four wigs or, or toppers at a time. And then after right. my appointment is over, I start washing and I wash every single piece and I restyle every single piece because it was on the bed and I, you know, my samples yeah. are going to be tried on. And so I make sure that everything is, is completely shampooed, restyled and, and sanitized. And, you know, so everyone feels quite comfortable there because they know they're in there alone with, with me and they don't have to worry. Um, you know, they know that my policy is I always wear a mask with all of my clients. And so right. I do feel comfortable that I'm not bringing something to them and, and they do have a private salon experience. So that's right. nice. For them. Yeah, it's, a, it's been a whole different world. We've all had to adjust everybody. Right. But, you know, one of the things you mentioned is you wash every piece after you've tried it on your customer. Yeah. So for all of you out there today, keep in mind when you are shampooing these true life fibers, cold water, cold yep. water, never use hot water. How what hot water does is it kind of disturbs the original set. So it could end up relaxing it could do some different things. Very interesting questions from Kathleen. Uh, Kathleen wants to know, and so does Catherine. How long does a top of head piece usually last? Now, Lisa, I want you to, to answer this too. I'll answer real quickly. Girls, it depends. It really yeah. depends. It's because it depends if it's a wefted one. It depends if it's a hand tied one. The hand tied ones are more fragile. It depends really and truly how much activation the piece gets. Are you brushing it, shampooing it, styling it every day? You know, it's going to have more wear and tear. Um, I know some people who have had theirs up for a year. I know some people who go through it in two months. It's it's the same way like you would take care of like a like a, a blouse, right? You know, I, what do you wash it in? Do you take it to the dry cleaner? Do you, are you gentle with it? All of that kind of stuff. I mean, Lisa, you have some pieces. What are they actually? I mean, you don't wear them every day, but if you were to wear them every day, what would you guesstimate? Uh, I would say about a year. If I wore it yeah. every day and styled it every day. I have pieces I've had for years. I actually found a piece um, that was from about 15 years ago. <laughs> it's still, it's a human hair piece and it still looks pretty darn good. I just <laughs> in my drawer the other day. Um, so it just really depends on how well you take care of your pieces. I always wash in cold water. I always use our water soluble, you know, shampoo that's designed for all of our pieces. Uh, mm -hmm. I love the restore. To me, that restore, yes. product, if you are listening and you have a salon, you have to have that. <laughs> I always uh, use this. Every single client buys one of those when they leave because that to me, I don't know, it's like magic in a bottle. It restores the hair. It makes it feel amazing. It repairs it. I have people that come in with a, a ponytail that may be all knotted up like a big ball and I can comb it out and rewash it and restore it with, a, with an iron and it comes out absolutely brand new. Yeah. So, you know, okay. it depends on how well you keep your pieces. You know, I have right. people well, throw them in the drawer. You know, it's like, do you keep it in a net? Do you put it back in the box when you're not wearing it? Or do you throw it in your sock drawer in the back of your car? I am right. really, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm always on the go, but you know, I also have access to a lot of pieces. So it's a little different. Right, right. It's true. But also, I mean, I want to mention too, you know, you talk about in the Harry Run the Road class, how to keep the fiber looking fresh for a long period of time. You also talk about some of the, the matting and the, the heat reactive uh, process that happens to the heat from the fiber on occasion. And you talk about how, how to restore that. And you, I think you actually even show a piece that has uh, been worn and has had some, you know, some friction and then also how you can restore it just by shampooing and conditioning and flat ironing it. So they are renewable. Yes. If, if you know how to work with the with the fibers in that correctly and use the right heat. Uh, if you ever go too high with the heat, they really don't last very long. Cause if you go over that 350, they start to melt and get a little bit, you know, matty. So yeah. it's important to keep the heat tools low um, and exactly. just take time with them. It's not something you want to do on your way out the door before you run to a wedding. You don't want to start trying to refurbish a, a hair piece. Uh, do it the day before. If you're doing a wedding, make sure that is all set and ready to go before because it does take a while to curl Yeah, because it's a low heat. So you want to make sure you have time and you take your time doing that and not rush through it. And then it'll last quite a while. Right. So Sissy Williams asks, does top billing come without a fringe? Hey, Sissy, thanks for joining us again. Um, top billing does not come without a fringe. Um, 
this this top billing, right, the the 18 inch, it's the fringe is a little heavier because of the PU front. However, you know, as Lisa showed us before, with the original top billing with the lace front, you can brush that all back and you can make it blend so it doesn't look like there there is a, a fringe. And the reason for that is the flexibility with the full lace front, right? So that blends in very well. Um, Let's see, uh, Chris asks, Chris says she has a receding hairline, more hair in the middle. How do you keep the lace from sliding back? You can, Chris, you know, on, on this one especially, and also on the original top building, and actually with any top of headpiece, you can use a double stick to pay tape to put it in the areas to hold it the best. So you can try that and see how that works for you. Um, so I, hi, Martha Neal. She says, what color are you working with, Mr. Man? I'm working with 3027. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. And Lisa, you are wearing again for everyone before we move on to our next one. Wearing Pale Golden Honey. Pale Golden Honey. Which one oh. number is Pale Golden Honey? 1688, I believe. Yes, right. I think that's right. 1688. Okay. Hey, hey, gals and guys and everyone else who's out there. One of the things I want to tell you too, right? When you are putting these uh, wigs or hair pieces, this goes for any type of alternative hair that you're working with on a block, what you really want to do is make sure you never perforate, right, the actual mono top or the lace front, because if you do that, it will start to fray. So keep that in mind, because I see people sometimes just take these and they just kind of go right in the top. Don't do that because you're going to open up that, that tight mesh and it's going to start to fray. So keep that in mind. Always, if you're going to pin them, pin them wherever you see the velvet lining, uh, you could pin them between the wefts, uh, in the back, right? But keep that in mind because I want you to keep these as long as you can. I want you to keep them in good condition for as long as you can. And that's a very important point that sometimes gets missed. So wanted to tell you about that, okay? So our next piece is, oh, our next piece is, yes. What was I gonna say? Top billing, yes. No, we don't have top billing without uh, a bang. They come with a bang or fringe or side swept. So we do have other pieces in the transformations collection, ladies, that, um, will work out just fine too. So they, they don't have a bang. So look into some of those. Okay. All right. Our next one we're gonna be looking at is from the Transformations Collection. And this one is called No Doubt, okay? Because no doubt this is gonna suit a ton of clients. <laughs> I don't name them all people, just the good ones. No. <laughs> Everyone's always like, who names these things? Well, here's the thing, you know. <laughs> You can always call them something, you know, but one words uh, lately are a little hard to come by because so many things have been copyrighted with the advent of the internet and with the advent of the modern age and everybody doing something and getting into business somehow, names just get taken and you don't wanna risk making confusion. So sometimes a little bit longer the names that we use, the less likely it is that people are gonna confuse uh, the product for something else that they've seen. So. That's what that's all about. So our names are getting a little lengthy and a little more creative. So here you can see in the photograph, No Doubt. And No Doubt is a very small piece. It's not as large as the top billing, so it's gonna cover less area. So when we were talking about those different stages of hair loss, uh, this is one for someone who's probably just starting to maybe getting into the mid. Now, uh, this is heat-friendly fiber as well. This is a shorter length. Okay, so you can see um, how it just kind of goes in through the top. Now, even this model that we used with long hair was able to pull off, no doubt. Um, and we swept it off of her face. Even though this does not have a lace front, you still have some styling flexibility because you can pull your own hair out through the front. So there you go, you have an image of that. That's shown in 1425. This one that I'm showing in is in the RL. 613SS, okay? So this is our champagne gold color. And because this is a color that is not as common as some of our other colors, we, we have ordered this in limited supply. So if you have a customer or you have people who you know that would wear this SS613, definitely you wanna place an order for that as quick as possible because we did do a limited run of these, okay? So let me show you this. Uh, Lisa, you're gonna put this on. Now, this is obviously, I mean, a little short for your length of hair, but you could still make it work. Again, no, it's adorable with a ponytail. Yeah, well, maybe we could do that. You could do like maybe show us with a ponytail. Here's the thing you're going to find with this one. This one is, as I was saying, a smaller, 
piece, okay? It's wider at the front, and then it tapers off into the back where you would hit the crown, okay? So it's giving you more coverage into the front, okay? This also has a skin top. This is not a mono top, it is a skin top, which means it has a flesh color, but it's a synthetic base, okay? It's going to look the color of flesh. And for uh, my darker haired clients, if that's a little too light, you can always put in a little concealer or a little uh, mineral powder that's in a darker shade that would match better. So you have that option. And we did the skin part because some people were saying they just want something that looks you know, natural, but they don't want to be in the price point of let's say something that has a fully hand tied top. So this is going to be a more affordable option for you, uh, but you're going to get all the options as far as heat styling. You're going to be able to um, obviously wear this off the face. If you have a little bit of fringe in the top, you can just set this back a little bit. So what you have here, you have two medium clips at the sides for strength and security and one medium clip in through the back. We also added a tiny little clip right in the front there for you because as we were testing the product, we noticed that a lot of times because of the skin top, there wasn't enough tension. So we added an extra clip for you. Now, if you don't need that clip, you can take it out. You just you know snip that out and you're good to go. So I wanted you to know that that was added for the extra security. Now I have, I did blow dry this a little bit with a bang. So you can see, I kind of just took my round brush and just hit the front a little bit with my blow dryer on like a medium setting and just let it cool. And if you like, you can sweep this over to the side very easily. I'm gonna use my restore. I'm just gonna miss the bangs, but I just wanted to let you all see that you can wear that away from the face and off to the side without a fringe and it blends just as well. Okay, you can even do a side swept fringe with this if you want. Uh, Lisa, you got it kind of parted down the middle and off to the side, right? Yeah, that's how I wear my hair typically. So I usually part it in the middle. Yeah, now which color? I got the 613 SS. Which color do you have? I'm still the pale golden honey, baby. That was, that's your color then. Right now, <laughs> that's your color. That's my color. Well, you know what, though? I got to say, when you were in a ponytail and I see your ends as light it is, as it is, you could have gotten away with this too, I bet. Probably, yeah. With Usually I can get away with wearing a few different blonde shades because the way our shades are made up is with a lot of different colors within. And so sometimes they blend and pick up like maybe the golder pieces or the low lights in my hair. So I can get away with a couple different blondes usually. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So uh, Anna asks, what does Anna ask? She says, will the restore help the frayed ends after continuous wear? And uh, it will, okay. But one of the things you need to know, Anna, is when when you're trying to repair any kind of any kind of like frizz or heat or friction that has happened to a piece, right? You want to spray the restore onto the ends, and then you want to take that heated implement styler, okay, and then like round brush or blow dry. You need heat to reverse the heat. Does that make sense? Because it reacts to heat, right? That's the beautiful thing about uh, heat friendly fibers. It reacts to heat. Of course, for everything beautiful, there's something not so beautiful, right? <laughs> so the, the, because it reacts to heat, the only way to correct it is with heat. So to go back section and then just kind of round brush with the restore, you will get that reconditioning, you'll get that detangling, okay? And that's one of the things, one of the things we, do, uh, we do talk about all the time. Um, whether you use a brush or comb, uh, the one thing you don't want to do when you're styling, and Lisa, I'm, you're going to test to this too, is you don't want to use a bore bristle brush you don't want to use a, a, a round brush with a metal barrel that has nylon pins. Don't want to go in that direction. I think vented brushes are the best. Uh, I like to use a wet brush. Lisa, you have our hair you wear brush, right? Which I love that for styling as well. Um, and you want to do it that way. A comb is okay if you're trying to create a part, but you don't want to comb because the, the fine teeth of the comb will sometimes put a little undue pressure on the top of the headpiece as well. Um, I go with a really wide comb. You go, yeah, especially after wet, right? As you can get, it seems to not, you know, pull or tear yeah. ribbons too much. Yes. So Stephen Barron's asked, and good question, Stephen, is the whole top of No Doubt with the, the scalp, with the uh, skin top, is that all the whole piece? It, it is primarily, but if you look around here, there is a little bit of wefting right around the edge. So the skin top is basically in the center of the piece with maybe about a half inch border that is wefted, okay? So hopefully that helps. Um, so Lisa, um, 
uh, what would you give advice? Someone is writing, what kind of advice would you give for a person who's new to wearing hair pieces? Because you have people who are new to wearing hair pieces all the time coming to the salon. What would you say to them? How would you, how would you start that conversation? Um, as far as getting, getting comfortable wearing it? Yeah, because you know, like you have a customer comes in, she's, she's thinning on top and she's like, what am I, what do I do? What do you suggest? How do you usually handle that situation and where do you start? Well, usually I have some type of hair in my hair every day. <laughs> Whether <laughs> That's true, you do. Or a piece or a wig. And that does bring up the conversation. And even people who may have never thought of wearing a piece before, they mm. see that I wear it. And it's like, oh, it's not so taboo. You know, she wears it. It right. doesn't look fake. It doesn't look weird. You know, um, it. once I try, you know, the pieces on the people and maybe style their hair up a little with them and they become very comfortable and... Um, toppers are usually a good way to go if they're not used to wearing wigs or anything like that because it gives them the the fullness and the coverage on top but they're not having to feel like they're wearing a full wig if they're not really comfortable with that yet you just yet yeah. you know exactly totally so yeah very good uh we have charlotte Teppel who asks uh, i have silver hair that is short and thinning what do you have for short hair well we do have some pieces for shorter hair they're already in the transformations collection charlotte check out Lyric and check out Sonata. Those are two that are shorter looks and we're, we're going to be working on some, uh, creating some shorter ones in the future as well. So keep an eye out for some of those. Lyric okay. and Sonata, awesome though. <laughs> those Short are awesome. Pieces, yes, <clears throat> yes. And we are looking at, like I said, adding more because we realized, <clears throat> excuse me, that there was a need for that. So our next one, People, is a really exciting piece that we're looking forward to introducing. The next one is a human hair piece. So. Ta-da, another human hair piece that everybody loves. You can cut, color, twirl, you know, deposit color, add a root, whatever. Lots of options with the human hair, right? So let's look at the human hair. That is called Charmed Life. Oh, doesn't that sound nice? Doesn't everyone want a Charmed Life? <laughs> there it is, there's Charmed Life. I am showing Charmed Life in the human hair color SS1488. And there we have a photograph of it. And here's this, what you guys are gonna love about Charm Life, it's so versatile for so many different clients, no matter what their stage of hair loss, okay? Now for complete hair loss, this would probably be like in a hair loss stage, like a four or a five, where you're getting some thinning in through the middle, but it's not quite where you need a big piece. This is a lovely sized piece. I just, I love this piece. And I'm gonna show you an up close version of it. And we'll talk a little bit about the features on it. So. Here's Charm Life. So it's a smaller piece, as you can see. It has three pressure sensitive clips. So you have the pressure sensitive clips at the side, and then you have one at the back. But that doesn't necessarily mean that's how it can be worn only, because if you go in this direction, if you have someone who only needs some uh, coverage in through the front and maybe a little bit more into the crown, you can reverse this. So you can wear this either from a narrow piece going into a wider, or you can go wider if more coverage is necessary into the front to something a little more tapered in the back. So that's what I love about the design of this. And it is completely flexible, okay? We have a PU border that kind of lines the whole exterior of the top of that piece, but it's all hand tied, okay? So you're not gonna feel that PU when you're wearing this because the lining of the mesh comes all the way across and covers the PU. So that's what gives us this flexible side. This makes it not so sticky and tacky on the head. And so if you have some hair or some breakage, if your hair loss is genetic um, and it's just thinning, you're not gonna get any kind of resistance as you would had the PU been on the side where it actually hits the hair. So a little bit of softness, a little more comfort on this, a very flexible piece. Again, you can wear it however you like to wear it. This piece, Charmed Life in our human hair, does not have, it does not have, a lace front. So we designed it that way on purpose because again, we were hearing from people that they wanted a piece that they could possibly, if they had some hair in the front, integrate it and also make that natural kind of front to it where they could pull a little bit of their hair out. So you can see, this is a very lightweight piece. It's just, it's about, I'm gonna get, say it's about 12 inches, okay. It's all one length, so it's completely customizable. This will blend in so beautifully with your own natural hair or anything like that. If, if you're, if you're going to have it customized, 
it's just a wonderful, wonderful piece for that. So I like it a lot. Um, Lisa, you get it. You got it on there. Look at you. Yeah. Look at that. You did that quick. <laughs> I had it all ready to go. Um, I love this one. I love the rooted. This is the same color you have. Oh, wait, oh wait. So now you changed the color. Now you're in the 1488. But see, look. So people, really quick, before you go and show us this a little closer, Lisa, this is what I wanted to say to you all out there. Lisa was wearing the, which one? You were wearing the honey before, right? Golden honey. Golden wheat. You were in golden honey. And now you've changed to the 1488, which is a different color. But look at, because of the multi-dimensional shades in there, you should be able to find one easily for your customer. And if not, as we said before, think, have them think about blending their own hair color to the piece, because it's probably not gonna be a big change. So Lisa, come up close with this. Did you, did you pull some of your hair out? A little in the front. A little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, there I am. I can see it. Now I'm in bigger. <laughs> I just pull a little out in the front just to kind of go over it. Yeah. And now this, you didn't taper at all. So can you show us the size a little bit on this? I mean, even without any tapering or any blending, the piece on its own just kind of creates a nice little light layer into your own hair that you really don't have to thin it at the ends or work really hard to blend it. It's still, it kind of gives it a nice shape, don't you think? Yeah, I like this one for layers, definitely. Because if I cut yeah. layers the short, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be as thick on the bottom, you know? Yeah, so, absolutely. Oh, like it was so pretty. I love, love it's it. <laughs> now, <laughs> this, is, this is what we get asked a lot. Will human hair last longer? Well, Donna, you're asking me that, and I'm going to tell you something about human hair. In, in my opinion and in my experience, I find that it will last longer as far as the hair, right? You still have to be careful with the human hair piece. That is hand tied. How much friction, how much combing, how much aggressive styling is done to the piece um, in order to ensure its life and longevity. But one of the things that is beautiful about human hair, and of course, there's nothing like the finest, right? Uh, it's human hair. You're not going to have to worry about friction. You're not going to have to worry about the hair getting, you know, damaged from any kind of heat or uh, rubbing against the collar or it, you know, getting dull. Human hair obviously is going to last a long time as far as the quality, softness, and feel of it. The other nice thing about human hair is you can use, you know, your your favorite coloring to color it. You can highlight. You, no, you can't highlight. We won't talk about that. You can low light, deposit color only. Deposit color only. It came out wrong. Deposit <laughs> color only. But you can use your you can use salon quality shampoos and conditioners that you might otherwise use for your own hair on the human hair. So that is a nice option. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility, right? And it, it's always commensurate, right? Where you know the features of the hair piece, the styling of the hair piece, and and how it's made, you know. It's gonna give you, all those things add up to what gives you flexibility and the most natural look. So we start here and then we build up to there. And that is how, how it works for, for the customers, right? Because, you know, where are you at? What can you use now? And then maybe you can build on that later. So I think that's really important. I mean, Lisa, you do a lot of customization, right? A lot of coloring of human hair pieces, yeah. And a lot of times that's why I end up choosing a human hair piece for them is because mm -hmm. they have a unique color that needs to match and maybe we don't have a perfect match in that synthetic version. Yeah. So always semi-permanent, you know, never never highlighting, no high lift, nothing higher than 20 volume if you're gonna, right. nothing higher than 10 volume. So semi-permanent glazes, those things are great. Uh, doesn't matter yes. what company, just keep it gentle, <laughs> please. Yes. yes, exactly. And one of the things I wanted to mention about that too is um, when you're, if you're thinking of, you know, a lighter color, but you wanna put some low lights in it, Always go lighter, like even this, if you wanted to color this like a bright, like red, go the shade lighter and deposit the color over. You never wanna to try to lift, always deposit onto the human hair, okay? And that is because this hair is treated. This hair uh, has to go through chemical baths in order to sterilize it, preserve it. And so it's, it has to be treated very gently. And the thing about that as well, is that if you're using like any kind of like products to lift, you're going to dry out the hair so much and it's already been through a chemical process. You don't want to do that. So deposit always onto the hair. Okay. Very important. Um, <laughs> Say about that. Um, make sure you yeah. test your hand, please. You know, take a piece. What I'll do is if I have an old piece laying around, I'll use those pieces, but um, I will take a piece, maybe cut a little 
chunk out of the back of the of the piece and test strand it because let me tell yeah. you sometimes i will put on a level nine and it comes out like a level six you just yeah. never so you really have to be careful all the hair is so treated that you have to treat it all like a brand new experiment every time yeah. you do it and so um, absolutely a strand because these are you know quality pieces and you don't want to be upset if you ruin it you know with one absolutely shot and so and sometimes you can even just do a little test strand in the back too, you know, which is helpful. Yeah. You know, um, you know, Susan Mills. Hi, Susan Mills Weaver. She asks, uh, what's the name of this piece? This piece again is called Charmed Life. I'm showing it in 1488 SS. Uh, and she wants to know if it comes in gray shades. No, it does not. And I will tell you why. Because in order to get a true gray shade with the human hair, there's no way to get white, white hair, right? In the human hair with the bleaching process or with a lightening process. The only way we can do that is to add synthetic hair. So we would have to make this a synthetic human hair blend. And this piece is just available in human hair. So that is why. Uh, we do have synthetic pieces that do come uh, with the grays and a, and a nice selection of grays in that as well. Another thing, in the past, this was probably one of our lighter colors, but we have added a new shade, people. And I, it's so new that Lisa and I don't even have it. But we have made a human hair piece topper, this one, Charmed Life, and it's gonna be available in some other ones in the color 1923 SS, which if you recall, is the color that we showed on the top building in the beginning. Now the 1923 SS in the human hair is going to be rooted much like this one, but it's going to have a much more cooler tone to it, okay? So it's not gonna be as light as we can make with a synthetic because it is human hair, but it's gonna be lighter than the 1488 and much cooler. So do talk to your sales rep and we're gonna be bringing Eric out in just a little bit. And she's gonna to talk to us a little bit about that, but Erica can give you some information on that as well. So kids, this is what we got in our Transformations collection. And we get this nice new pink box. We kind of redesigned the box. So very nice, pretty, isn't it pretty? <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? Let's see, got one more question from Pamela Walter, but she says she's worn full wigs for a year. And this is so informative. I'm glad this is informative. I hope it's been informative for a lot of you. Um, and, but the thing Pamela says is she's uh, been concerned about pulling her very thin bio hair. Hmm, what do you show up shot of clips, please? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me show this a little closer. So these are pressure sensitive clips. I should tell you, Pamela, what we use on these. Now, you know, you may want to try to pay tape if that helps, but I don't know if that's any better on the bio hair. Again, these are the clips. They are pressure sensitive clips, so they just pop open and then you'll hear them snap when it's attached. And again, you can move these around. If you're very good, I'm not really good with sewing, but if you are, you know, you can reposition these so you don't get the wear in the same area all the time. Uh, so that's something to be thinking about, okay? So um, those, those clips have that uh, silicone banding in there as well. So that helps with- they do. With protecting that bio hair. So that's a good thing to notice, you know? Yes, yeah, the, the, the silicone on the right underneath where the, you know, where the clip kind of snaps does kind of help secure the hair and also protect it a little bit. So you should be in pretty good shape there. Again, maybe maybe keep like two or three different top of head pieces. So you're always changing around where the positioning of the clips is. Then you really never have to worry, you know, for I think. So, all right guys, let us bring on Miss Erica. And Erica is one of our account sales reps. And we just love Miss Erica. She's a doll. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Erica. How are you? I am doing very well. Been watching everything. I even got some questions answered that I wasn't quite sure about. So oh, good, good, good. Excellent. Excellent. And that's that's pretty hard to stump you on a question. So wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it could, the, everyone that's been, I've been watching the chat. Everyone's been asking really good questions that um, if right? we don't get it from them, we'll get, our wig shops ask us all the time. Might be something that we haven't thought about. or we just Right. Absolutely. Questions. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I want to ask you, Erica, we are doing, because we're doing the show today, we do have a little special deal today, don't we? On our top of heads, we're offering customers what? Please tell. Well, for all of our salons and wig shops out there, we do have a special tiered intro deal um, that will feature not only the three new pieces, but all of the pieces in the Raquel Transformations collection. Um, and you can, <laughs> all of our wig shops and boutiques can reach out to their account executives to find out what those intro deals are. 
Very cool. Very cool. I'm sure you guys are all excited because now we got the top building at 18 inch. We've got the no doubt and we got the charmed life that we showed today. So we have many more options, don't we? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. With the addition of Charm Life that now brings us to six human hair top of head pieces. Mm -hmm. And then also with our synthetics, most of them are available in grays. So we have something for everyone. Yes. And I think, you know, I know you may be aware of this already, Erica, because you're, you know, you're privy to a lot of stuff because, you know, you just get the scoop everywhere. I know you. But <laughs> we are we are constantly uh, looking at evolving and increasing our offerings in our transformations top of head collection. So I want to let all of you that are watching today go and look online, click the link that we have posted here and look at the collection that we have now and know that we will be expanding this. And so the more feedback and information you can give us, the better off we'll all be right. <clears throat> so, Absolutely. <laughs> another thing we have been giving away, and I don't know if you if you got this information, Eric. I'm putting you on the spot. But I know we've been giving away with orders masks for our customers and also some hand sanitizer. And uh -huh. so we wanted you to kind of have these with your order. Are we do we still have availability of these? Because I mean we've been giving these out left and right, haven't we? Absolutely. We still have them in stock for our salons and wig shops. Um, hair you wear wants, them, wants everyone to be safe in their space. So um, if you need them, please talk to your account executive about them. We do still have them available. Absolutely. Awesome on that then. Because, you know, I mean, these come in pretty handy because you go through these a lot, you know. I mean, I, sometimes you get like just so much makeup on these too. I've, I've been told. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not that I would know firsthand or anything, but you know. <laughs> um, so yes, everybody, we love having Erica. If you get on the phone with her, we have a wonderful staff, like other women like Erica, but Erica is always there. She is totally ready for your questions. You know, listen, Erica, whoever gets you is lucky to get you on the phone. Cause I know you know this stuff inside and out. So how have you been All doing? All the ladies been... on the team do. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do. They do. That's what I'm just, I'm just, you were just taking the words out of my mouth. I was going to say, everybody really. And like, if, if, if you don't get Erica, and if you're calling, you don't get Erica, don't worry because the next person who answers that phone is going to be amazing. Our, we have a great staff and all the girls who are there to help you all. Um, they really know their stuff. They really know the business and they've been with the company for a long time. So it's, it's all such a pleasure to work with all of you. And Lisa, you know, you've been in plenty of orders, haven't you? <laughs> Yes, plenty of orders. I have my my Bonnie. She's she's my girl. <laughs> Good old Bonnie. Yes, and Bonnie. Joey, and the whole the whole slew, the whole slew. So, you guys, should we announce the winners? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We have two winners for our, our top of head transformation collection. The first being Catherine Zweigenbaum. Catherine, Woo! congratulations. And from our other channel, we have. Anna Jones, Terry Murray. Anna Jones, Terry Murray, congratulations. You gals will get to pick a piece that you like and a color that you like. So congratulations and thank you for watching. Lisa, what can I say? Um, you know, I love you to death, girl, more than my luggage. <laughs> That's saying a lot, I know. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your dedication to Harry Ware. Thank you for your dedication to the craft of hairdressing. And thank you for being my friend, confidant, and the best assistant and person I could ever work with ever in my life. And just being for a talented hairdresser and for everything you do for all your customers, because I know how much you give, you give your all. So thank you. Thank you, Frank. I appreciate it. I love it. you, girl. And Erica, I love you. And I'm, I know you're going to take good care of anyone who calls in today after watching the show. So thank you, Erica, for everything you do and for all the attention and everything that you give to the customers and making sure that they get everything that they need and that they're happy. So thank you, Erica, Mwah! to Welcome. both of you. <laughs> A big thank you to all of you for watching today. I hope you learned something about Top of Heads. Keep watching, we got more shows coming. We're gonna be doing another American Hairlines show. And we're also gonna be doing a wonderful uh, December celebration where we talk about Raquel Couture Human Hair Collection. And that'll be right before the holidays. So please join us, everybody. Take care and stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>